Yeah, Courtney uh, Reagan joins us now with those uh, results uh, from Macy's. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Joe. Yeah, so it's a big miss for Macy's profit. 28 cents per share. Analysts were looking for 45 cents. We've got revenue, though, essentially in line at 5.55 billion. That was what we are expecting, along with that 0.3 percent comp sales growth. So. That at least does mark seven quarters without that metric declining. But after this quarter's big earnings miss, Macy's is lowering its annual guidance range to between 285 and 305 a share. And that was previously at 305 to 325. And that guidance does not reflect the new tariffs. Macy's is still evaluating those details and working on its strategy there. Macy's CEO Jeff Gannett said that the quarter started slow and finished below our expectations. Macy's had to discount merchandise to clear it after a couple things. Number one, a fashion miss in key women's sportswear private brands. So they sold things that customers just didn't want to buy. Slow sell through of warm weather apparel in general and an accelerated decline in international tourism. Now, I spoke with CEO Jeff Gannett, who told me, quote, we took our medicine. We took almost a full point of margin for these markdowns to address the inventory issues. He also said, look, we needed to protect the fall. Gannett also said that he learned from list three tariffs moving from 10 percent to 25 percent that, quote, the customer has no appetite for price increases. And that right now we are expecting that there won't be price increases with tranche four at 10 percent, but that if it goes to 25 percent, we're going to have some more work to do. That's a bit of a change from before when Gannett had said he didn't see a way through this without higher prices. Now, Gannett also calls his store sales healthier and notes the 40th quarter of double digit online growth. But shares of Macy's, as you can see, down sharply more than 12 percent after these results.